I bought this three pound bag of Kenny Beck seed potatoes at Walmart for five dollars and thirty-eight cents plus tax and they're already sprouting in the bag so I know that they're live potatoes that they're alive uh, and what I'm doing is I'm going to grow them in a large one of these large uh, so I've bags. rolled down the plastic bag so that it fits inside this tote and I've put four and a half inches of soil potting mix or growing mix inside this bag and I've put one I'm I'm just putting a whole potato in there because I don't want to uh, cut cut it up into pieces and then wait for it to harden off or seal off before planting it. Uh, so I'm just planting the whole thing and now I'm going to cover it, just cover it with soil. So now I've added an inch and a half of potting soil so uh, it's up to about six inches and here's one one sprout from that potato that is just barely sticking out so I can keep track of what it's doing. And now I'm going to water it. Here are the two potatoes that I planted. Uh, it's June 3rd, Monday, June 3rd, 2013. And so far the potato plants look pretty happy. I'm dumping out the potatoes, the potato plant that I grew in this global bucket, two five-gallon buckets uh, with uh, the centers cut out. There's an insert with holes. So this is, I already see a couple of potatoes there. Pretty cool. I didn't know what to expect because this is the first time I've done this. And I have not it's November 4th, I think. Yeah, today's November 4th. And I have not watered this since the summer. And this is, the bottom of this is moist. So it looks like I got a handful of potatoes. Let me just, I'll just put them out on the sidewalk here. So here's my harvest from one five gallon bucket. Not not impressive, but at least I got some potatoes and they look good. I'll let you know how they taste. Some of them are kind of small. Next I'm going to empty out the two and a half cubic foot uh, bag that I grew another potato plant in. Okay, I dumped it out and I see some potatoes in here, so I did get some potatoes. Plant. So I'll just, I'll dig these potatoes out and set them on, ooh, there's a nice sized one. Set them over here on the sidewalk. Okay, so these are the potatoes from the large bag. It's just an empty bag that my soil came in. Two and a half cubic foot bag. So these potatoes came from that plant and then these are the potatoes from the five gallon bucket. So it looks like about the same, maybe about the same, but I'll, I'll weigh them and see. The, the bag grew a couple of larger tomatoes. I'm sorry, potatoes, but like I said, it looks like about the same yield. And here's a second bag that I grew potatoes in, so I'm going to empty that one and 
see what kind of a yield I got. By the way, there's my keyhole garden. And it's November 4th. And unbelievably, I still have lettuce growing in here. Now mind you, we've had over a month of freezing temperatures. So, I'm really surprised that I have lettuce growing here. I had to build a cage around the top to keep chipmunks and rabbits and deer out of here. And after I empty my potatoes, I'm going to collect all these bok choy seeds. If you see all that, that little green down there, that's bok choy that has reseeded itself from the summer down there, those little tiny micro greens that are growing. Very happy with that. So here is the bag emptied out. And I'll see if we have some potatoes. Oh, we do have potatoes in here. Oh, there's the original, the seed potato is just, the only thing left of it is the skin. So, I will, and I'll go through these and make another little pile of potatoes. Okay, and there is the yield from the second two and a half cubic foot bag. I cut holes in the bottom, can't, can't really see them, but I punched holes in the bottoms of the bags so they would drain. and. This second bag was uh, sitting in a large pail and all of the soil that came out of it was damp. And I don't know if you can see this, but these potatoes have like little white nubs on them. Uh, and I don't know if that is what that is, but I'll look it up online and see if I can find out. And here is my second global bucket that I'm going to dump out and check. Again, the soil is very moist and you can see there's a green, even a green tinge of algae that started growing on this. Oh, and there's some potatoes. So I'll I'll make a little a little harvest and then show you what this one looks like. And there's the harvest from the second global bucket. So those are from the two five gallon buckets and those are from the two bags, plastic bags. Here are the potatoes after being washed. I, uh, I was told by a potato farmer that Kennebecs are grown to make potato chips and I can see why because I took a slice off one and ate it and they have a very mild flavor and it was very and crunchy. And I'm going to turn my potatoes into potato spinach soup. So I have cut up one medium sized onion in a soup pot, sliced and added my one and a half pounds of potatoes, adding four cups of water and one tablespoon soy sauce, low sodium soy sauce. I'm going to bring this to a boil and then let it simmer for about a half hour. I'm also going to add three large diced garlic cloves. The soup cooked for 30 minutes and I used a stick blender to puree the soup. I tasted it and I'm going to add a second teaspoon, a second tablespoon of low sodium soy salt. I have about two cups of fresh spinach. I roughly chopped it and added it to the soup. I'm going to let it cook for three to five minutes until the spinach is about wilted. And I'm adding one teaspoon of black pepper.
healthy and delicious.